The outer layer of the Earth is the Earth's crust, and it's a thin, one to 70 kilometer thick, hard, dense, and brittle layer of rock that sort of coats the outside of the Earth, which much of which is a hot, dense, pressurized mass of molten rock. But the outer part, the crust, actually is brittle and hard, much like a, a graham cracker. And this stuff, as it moves, and as the heat and pressure of the molten rock moving around beneath, forces itself up and through the crust, it breaks up into plates. That's the theory of plate tectonics. When these big plates of rock move around on the Earth's surface, they interact in one of three ways. We have convergent plate boundaries where plates move together. We have divergent plate boundaries where plates move apart. And we have transform plate boundaries where plates move past one another. In each of these three situations, different things happen. So what I'm going to do today to demonstrate those is to create a little model of each with my graham cracker and I'm going to take my scientifically designed uh, colored icing and I'm going to basically put some upper mantle on the bottom of my crustal plate. My other piece of graham cracker, which is going to be my lower mantle, so I'm going to have basically a nice crust mantle sandwich. In the case of divergent plate boundaries, what we have is a situation where the upper crust breaks and the pressure from below forces magma up into the area between the plates. You can see the green is actually coming up between the plates and what it does is it forces those plates apart. And that magma forms new rock in between and this happens over many millions of years and it forces these plates to move apart. We call this a divergent plate boundary and it typically happens at the bottom of the oceans like the Atlantic Ocean and what's called a mid-ocean ridge or spreading center. And in this case we've got our sandwich, same sort of thing. We've got a break here and these two plates come together one of them may be less dense than the other and they then things happen this one basically gets diverted down into the mantle okay and it melts and when it melts magma is forced up to the top and that's where you get volcanoes obviously convergent plate boundaries get a little messy <laughs> The third type of plate boundary is one in which plates just rub together. They don't converge, they don't diverge, but what they do is basically slide side by side. This is a transform plate boundary. A good example of this is here in the United States in the state of California, the famous San Andreas Fault, in which case the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate are moving past each other at a very slow rate, about the rate at which your fingernails grow. But it moves slowly, but there's a lot of energy stored up along these boundaries where these plates rub together. And that generates many earthquakes. Just one reason why California is so prone to earthquake activity. Let's take a look now at our saucepan and see if we can see how these continental masses are created. So we've got several canisters of heavy cream in the pan and we're going to put a little cocoa powder right on top very lightly spreading it thin. This represents the crust of the earth floating on the mantle, on the upper mantle. As you can see here, the crust is starting to expand and therefore we're starting to get cracks form here along the edges of the pan. Here goes here a little triple junction forming right there. So here you see the crust rises. That's from the heat expansion below and as it gets the crust gets weak, it breaks up, and that's called a triple junction. We have three cracks that form together. And now you've got a spreading center forming. This is called the divergent plate boundary. Now it'll start to push the crust, and now it's overrunning the crust. 
And so this plate over on the one side is now submerging. And that's called a convergent plate boundary. Oh, that's cool. See this big long one formed here. So these would be different plates getting overrun again. But you can see the movement. You can see how they're pushed to the side. This is exactly what happens on the earth. And then this, all of this white milk, this magma would cool and form oceanic crust. So basically these would be our continents. And these would be our ocean. And perfect little sped up model of how the earth was made.